want to talk about who God truly is. As we all know that God is spirit, God is immortal, God is omnipresent, God is who he says he is, he is the beginning and the end, the creator of all things, we know that whole concept about God. But as I go deeper, God revealed to me that he is actually not what we have put him in this box to be he is more than that and he can be whoever he wants to be as it says in the word of god i am who i am so he's he can be anything in everything basically so also sometimes i feel like we struggle to communicate with god we struggle to connect with god on a deeper level because we lack the basics we lack the foundation we lack some knowledge of who exactly god is so as i was reading in the scripture of first john chapter 4 verse 8 but anyone who does not love does not know god for god is love so in this video i'll be talking more and emphasizing more about god being love because it says in his word god is love and i believe that the only way for you to connect deeper to know god to hear god's voice to never lose a connection with god is only through his word because in the beginning there was the word and the word was with god and the word is god so god is the word if you do not read your bible then there's no way you can sustain your relationship with God. The only way you can sustain it and elevate it and develop your relationship with God is through the word of God. And that's the other way of us hearing his voice, communicating with him. And as I've mentioned, he revealed this through me as i was reading his word great so also i want to move to verse 16 which says and so we know and rely on the love god has for us god is love whoever lives in love lives in god and god in them so if we have love if we portray love if we believe in love then god lives within us because god is love the scripture in first corinthians chapter 1 verse 3 love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boost it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always perseveres love never fails so as i was reading this uh, god was like you see the word love try to replace it with the word god meaning the word love in this particular scripture we can replace it with god somehow those i believe are the characteristics of god even though we know that god is spirit but when you read his word you actually witness that god actually has emotions because even in the ten commandments he's like i am a jealous god you know do not worship any other gods besides me meaning he has emotions so i believe these are his characteristics so let us not put god in the small box that no he's spirit he's immortal and everything like look at the whole context you know so if you're struggling with love loving others or train love or loving yourself as an individual just know that god is love and also i believe that all these characteristics that i've mentioned about god that is the main reason why we believe in him why we trust in him why we are hungry for his presence as the word says that god is patient truly god is patient because considering how many times we have 
forsaken him how many times we have abandoned him but somehow god is still there with open arms it's like come back to me i will forgive your past i will forgive you i will redeem you i will make you a new creation through christ jesus like god is truly patient i even love the scripture in revelations which says that god is at the door he is knocking waiting for someone to open the door which shows that god is patient and he wants us to be redeemed by him because we are his creation and truly god is kind because he sent his one and only son to die for our sins so that we may be forgiven we may live a new life and it is through the blood of jesus christ that we are new creations as long as you declare that the lord is your savior you are a new creation he forgives your past he forgives all your transgressions he forgives all your sins you are a new creation in christ